Tanto, you're not you're not coming to the Baguio meetup. Yeah, I'm um yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, um, who knows kung makaka kung makaka ano ako? Makaka uh, what I call this? Makaka sipot ako. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, um going Talaga to... te, talaga tong si Ana, sinumpong pa kay Jason. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. March 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 30 ba? Yan? Is everybody gonna, really going to be there? Grabe yeah. naman. Para ang laki tulo ang laki tulo ng atraso ko. Everyone's going to bug you to visit you those wala ka pa daw. Ah! So March March 30. Yeah, March. 30. Grabe, scary. But is ana kung kayo lang if it's like if it's Jason and Pinky only okay pa pero <laughs> lahat na kayo my goodness. <laughs> Punta ka na. Ay, Pamela, you speak up. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where, where are you from? Rocket ka ba ng... Fairview yeah. po. Quezon City pa po kasi ako eh. Novaliches ba? Malayo-layo. Oh, mas malayo pa ako. From Cebu pa. Ay, oo nga. No? <laughs> Nahiya ako. <laughs> Ayan, we're, we're live. Uh, so, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another session of Flip Chat and Chill. Um, tell, say hi. Good afternoon, Jules. I'm a top fan. I'm a star fan. Um, good afternoon, Jules. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, if you can hear us and see us, let us know where you're watching from and, and we'll greet you. May I greet you in the comments? Um, go ahead. Uh, today, uh, I'll try to share this clip chat and chill video. It's been a while since. Yeah, I'll try to share it in my phone. Okay, okay, and we'll I've shared it to uh, Flip na. Oh, uh, okay. I'll share this intro video, guys. So, tina natin intro video natin. Yeah. I just wanted to pause it because Phoenix, this shirt you're wearing sa video dito, the same shirt you're wearing. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> oh. And so welcome to Flip Chat and Chill, guys, um, with Phoenix's patented t-shirt. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the best ways to get paid as an online freelancer. We also had a blog post about this last Thursday. Uh, check it out on gabootcamp.ph blog, the best ways to get paid as an online freelancer. We've got um, your your host, Phoenix Jackson. Hi, everybody. Uh, we've got myself, Mr. Jason Dulay. Uh, and we've got our guests to join us in this discussion. We've got Miss Pinky Anisete. Hi. And Miss Pamela, ano yung last name mo, Pamela? Sorry, it's not here. Lumagbas po. Lumagbas, yeah. I mean, I was like, Pamela Lumagbas. And dito, in Zoom, is just Pamela. Nagka-caps lahat. So, <laughs> Pamela. So, thank you. Thank you guys for joining us in this discussion today. And we've got all of you guys watching with us. So, say hello. Say hi. Um, sino ba nandito? Oh, Aiza Kabilan. Uh, miss you din. Oh. Miss daw ko ni Aiza. Miss you din. Uh, hello, Mahar. Hello, Caroline. Caroline. Um, Jim from Madlyong. Anna Soriano. Wala si Anna dito, pero nag- nasa chat siya. Sige. Ayun, Anna. Um, Roderick from Baguio. Mary from Muntindupa. Um, Jermaine uh, La Chica. Milagros. Rafael. Akimi. Jermaine. Uh, Kiri. Sher- Sheryl. Uh, Tita. Winnie. Parang never ending. Winnie. Sharon, Crystal, Jonamel, uh, again, and Rosemary, no, the same comments. Um, and if you'd like, if you guys have any 
um, comments or questions about this topic, uh, let us know then. Baka may inputs din kayo. Uh, type it in the in the chat as well so we can discuss it today. All right. So um, topic natin yan, the best ways to get paid as an online freelancer. I guess we'll we'll start the discussion by talking about like how we get paid as freelancers. Uh, so start with our guests. So Pinky, anong, what, what are your methods? My, uh, my favorite um, platform or my third par party payment vendor um, of choice is TransferWise. Because I've tried um, PayPal, Payoneer in the past. For me, I use TransferWise because of the the cost, yung less yung fees nila. So, because, one, because I work directly with clients, so I'm not on, I'm not focusing on Upwork, so di different yung um, method, payment method para sa akin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yun. So, yes, using TransferWise, para ano, para may sponsor, hindi kami sponsor again. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> So transfer. Um, so paano ba yun? Paano yun ba yun? Because I have never used transferwise. Does anyone in the comments, um, anyone watching, in the transferwise? I've never used transferwise before. So paano ba yung process yun? Okay. So for me, kasi yung transferwise, um, ang maganda sa kanila, they're giving you a USD account. And they're going to give you a USD account number. So direct from the US, um, Diretso din siya sa bank, local bank account mo. And what's great is that um, same day usually na -re receive ko na yung payment. So for example, the client process it today after an hour or minsan minutes lang na -re receive ko siya sa BPI account ko. So I'm not a promoter of TransferWise. I'm just a happy user. So yun. <laughs> it's how it works. But you have to have an an account sa TransferWise, pati din si, um, si client mo, dapat magkaroon siya ng TransferWise account. So that was the problem dun sa ibang client ko, nahihirapan silang maging um, transfer, mag transfer through TransferWise kasi hindi sila na-approve daw for some reason. So you have to um, recall this, enroll muna, sign up, and then after that, you can go ahead and use it. It's very, very good actually. Oh, okay, okay. That was minimal yung fees. Minimal yung fees and then the exchange rate is the same as Google um, exchange rate. Like how much, makano ba yung fees? Um, it's very maliit talaga siya compared to ano eh, um, PayPal and Payoneer. So, I don't know, maybe like $5 or lower. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I usually charge it kay client so I don't really know how much you exact na fees. So, basta nilalagay ko siya on top of the fee kay client. So, hindi, hmm. hindi ako affected. Sabi niya, sabi niya, JL. Regardless. Go ahead, go ahead, Phoenix. I would say, regardless of the, of the fees, the exchange itself, tiba-tiba hmm. uh, ka na sa ano eh, win-win ka na sa exchange mismo. Kasi Google is the highest na makikita mong exchange. Even if, even if you go to the black market, pag magpapapalit ka ng, ng dollar doon, it's still slightly lower than Google. So how yeah, you already know. won. Hmm? How, how do you know the black market rates, Phoenix? Ano ba ginagawa mo dyan sa black market? I always do that. Like, whenever I get whenever I get my, my dollars, I go to it because it's fun to go to the black market and you know exchange your dollars physically. See you. No more questions. So yeah, so that's what that, no, so that's what I know. So that's why I know because before I go to the black market, I search Google. Kiting na ko kung magkano ang dollars. If if for example the dollar the exchange rate from Google is 50, uh, 50 point thirty, let's say, go to the black market and they will the ang magiging exchange is fifty flat usually. Ganun. it's still slightly lower. Yeah, in comparison to banks, naman parang two pesos lower. Kaya malaki. It's it's huge. Yeah, that's a big difference, especially when you're talking about hundreds or thousands of dollars. Okay. Yeah. Um, Trixie is also a transferwise user as well. Uh, yeah. See, Christine Laigo uh, used it and loved it then. Um, see, at Kimi, with my previous client, we used Veeam. Madalila, my registration fees for fixed site, check sa akin. 
and mas mataas ng exchange rate. Two to three days bago mag-reflect sa tax if it is applicable sa BDO. Okay, okay, that's interesting. I've never used Stratfroid before, so maybe I'll look into it in the future. Um, so, Pam, Pammy, uh, si Pammy, by the way, um, nag-crave daw siya ng yogurt. <laughs> Sabi niya sa chat namin. Um, this is the Nestle Blissful Berry Mix. So, nakaka-bliss talaga to. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pammy, what, Pammy, what, what's your ano? What, what do you use? Ah, uh, yeah, parehas po kami ni Spinky. I don't use Upwork. Uh, I uh, I applied using Hubstaff, and we're using Hubstaff. Pero ang payment method po namin is we're using Bitwage. Tapos um, it will go pag transfer ni client yung money sa Bitwage, it will go directly sa coins.ph po. Oh. And that's a lot easier para magbabayad ako ng bills and doon na lahat. <laughs> ah, nice. So parang ano, the client will send, how does the client send you money? Sorry pa? How, how does the client send you money in the bit wage? Paano ba yan? Para siyang, ano din po, para siyang PayPal, ganun. But uh, mas mataas yung, ano niya, yung, yung, yung rate niya compared sa sa ibang platform mas mas hindi ako mas hindi ko nararamdaman yung cut in percentage tapos uh, parang ginagamit po ata nila ano eh bitcoin bitcoin yeah tapos that's how i get paid kaya diretso sa coins.ph account ko then, pwede ko na siyang pwede ko na siyang i, i withdraw use I, i mean i transfer sa bank account ko or direct sa sa buwana or kahit saan ko gusto Nice. May question ako sa iyo, Pami. Um, hindi pa nagfa-fluctuate yung ano, yung yung money mo noon since Bitcoin siya. Hindi ko pa naman po na experience. Hindi pa naman, pero ang nagiging problem lang namin is mismo minsan lang. Parang siguro sa 8 months ko nag-work sa kanila, nag uh, work sa kanila. One time lang nagkaroon ng problem is yung hindi nag-connect yung coins PH account ko sa Bitwage nila. Yun lang. Uh, For yung, yung Bitwage, they have a fee din. Kapag nag-transfer yun. Kapag may incoming. May, may fee din. Pero kaya kay, ano po yun? Kay, kay client po yung fee. Tapos mm. sa amin na. Parang ang pinakababayaran na lang namin is yung nakalimutan ko yung transfer. Ganon. Para pag, pag magka-convert na siya into peso, dun lang siya nababawasan. Conversion rate. Automatic man po peso na siya sa akin. Eh. Hindi na siya, hindi, hindi siya, hindi na siya kailangan ipapalit. Okay, that's nice. Um, sabi na Mahar, ang ganda ng new hairstyle mo daw, Pam. Lang yung hair pa. Sabi ni LJ, your new hairstyle is the bomb. Um, <laughs> si Jay also getting paid by bit in Bitcoin. Uh, how long have you been uh, coins a PH user now? Um, eight months, eight months na. Si Jay sabi, nagsupluctuate pag si client nag-pay ng Bitcoin. I guess depende sa Bitcoin rate. Pero hindi mo naramdaman naman. Okay. That's, that's Kasi hindi lang po nag- nag-transfer kami sa yung direct bank. Direct to the bank. Kasi hmm. yun nga yung nagka-problema kami sa Bitwage namin. Pero ngayon, okay na siya. Nakontak na namin yung technical support. Eh, which should be working by now. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Ang, ano, the new technologies, using the new technology. Ito mga bagong freelancers, ano, embracing the new technologies. Ito, Phoenix, since yeah. you're one of the, you're, you're one of the oldies, like me, uh, <laughs> for a while. Ano, ang interesting tong, tong Bitcoin na to. Ikaw, ikaw, Phoenix, what's your, what's your method? Firstly, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to me, uh, late ako pumasok. Uh, parang pumasok ako sa Zoom at uh, two minutes before before time. Kaya I misunderstood the the topic. Kasi akala ko ano, the best ways to get paid, you know, <laughs> like the best ways to get a higher pay. <laughs> parang yun ang yun ang pagkakaintindi ko. <laughs> so I was I was protesting, ladies and gentlemen, a while ago. No, sabi ko ba, why are why are we going to share our trade secrets kung, kung ganyan. So, um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I misunderstood. Uh, wala. Um, traditional lang ako. Uh, Filipinos are obsessed. We here in the Philippines are obsessed with getting our money as dollars. Kasi parang masarap. And like I said a while ago, it's, it's fun 
kapag hawak-hawak mo yung yung dollar bills going to the black market and exchanging or to the bank or to Western Union, parang ang sarap kasi ng feeling ng ganun. Or um, at least may silbi ang dollar accounts natin kung meron man tayong dollar accounts dito, dito sa Pilipinas. It's, yeah, it, ang, ang hirap kasi kapag may dollar accounts eh, na ang, ang hirap na mag-transact except kung ikaw mismo physically ang maglalagay ang nag-withdraw. Yeah. So yeah, um, however, ako yung, ayoko yung headache. The, one of the reasons why when I first got into Upwork and I didn't choose PayPal was because Metrobank and PayPal weren't that friendly. to each other. Ang, ang hirap na um, I've been pulling my hair out. Kaya I opted out of PayPal na buti na lang may direct pay. That's the one advantage of Upwork kasi pwede silang diretso sa bank mo and it costs the least of all the, the payment of options. Um, sorry na lang kapag nasa freelancer or online jobs ka pumasok because you really need a PayPal account. In Wala sa ano lang ako Western Union lang ako if I want if I want to be paid in dollars. Old school na old school yung Western Union na yun. Yeah. One of the old payment methods talaga. Even before. No, I like it that way because the the good thing about that is uh, many of my clients, almost all of my clients, are already familiar with that. They don't have to research. They don't have to think about the stuff. That's that's the thing. Eh. Um. The, oh, How do uh, how do I how should I pay? Pag sa sabi naganon, if in case na sa sabi naganon, are you familiar with are you familiar with uh, Western Union? Sa sabi tatanungin ko na lang naganon, and they everybody says, oh oh yes yes okay, ganon ganon lang. Wala yung uh, huh? What, what website is that? How do I apply? How do I? Wala nang wala nang ganon. I don't need to introduce something new. Kaya it's very comfortable to them. Kung sa kalen man. No, they want to change. They want to get out of Western Union because it's kind of expensive. Well, there, sila na itong mag-research. Bahala na sila sa buhay nila kung gusto nila. Basta importante, <laughs> bayaran ako. Yeah, that's... that's... Uh, there, there's another... I, I remember a client in California. Uh, b- pwedeng mag... Pwedeng mag, mag, ano eh, mag metro bank to metro bank. You try to look at your bank accounts. kung meron kayong S sa bank account ninyo, and then research kung saan ang bra- kung meron silang branches or mga associate banks outside the Philippines. Like in South Korea, there is one there is a metro bank there, kaya doon pumupunta ang, ang Pilipino sa Seoul, sa Seoul mismo. And yun, pwede kang, pwede kang mag-transfer ng, ng dollar, dollar to dollar kung gusto nyo. Just look for the branches of banks. outside the Philippines and um, hindi hindi mahirap ang magpadala ng dolyar. Okay, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, mm-hmm. didn't talk about that um, either. Um, let's see. Um, what are the comments? Dito. Um, hi. Sabi ng Olivia. Hi, everyone. Valerie, hi to all. Geraldine, watching from Kab- Kabuyao. Um, si Joseph, sabi, hi, pretty pinky. Si, si, mm-hmm. si, si pinky lang ba pretty? Hindi kami na. <laughs> Mariette, hi everyone. Um, si Mahara akala scam dati yung Bitcoin. Hindi naman lahat scam, pero I think there are, there are scams. Hey Maris, uh, Jing, Bunny, ayan. Um, idol, pretty pretty idol Pinky. Bakit si Pinky? Uh, drop. Hi si Pinky. Bunny, hi Joseph, hi everyone. <laughs> Let's leave, tapos si Pinky lang. <laughs> pero mababa po sa Tito Western Union, sabi ni Brian. Um, sending up work cover letter while watching. Thank you. Um, well, ako naman, iba naman. It, it's, it's weird because we're, we're using different... This wasn't planned, but we're all using different payment methods, actually. Um, before, like, well, nung nag, nag desk ako before, uh, long, long time ago, that was, if you guys uh, have reached the time of Odesk, um, it was linked to my PayPal account, <laughs> Odesk people. It was linked to my PayPal account before. I don't know if they had para wala silang direct transfer dati. I'm not sure. I, I think wala. Yeah, wala. Wala at that time. Now, meron yung Upwork. And I've, I've tried that direct transfer to my very before PayPal talaga. Um, but since nag-direct a client ako usually, um, PayPal. PayPal is, is kind of, I guess Western Union is more well-known than PayPal. Pero well-known din yung, yung PayPal. Um, so when I say to a client, hey, you can pay me with PayPal, they, they use, most of them are... on my experience, they've at least heard of PayPal. So, I don't know, legit yung PayPal. 
and it has legitimacy na uh, more than 10 years na sila. Um, but I also charge credit cards. Um, I do direct billing of flights. Um, so I charge, I do monthly billing sa SEO clients. Um, so I have a Stripe account then, which charges directly with um, credit card processing. Malaki yung fees niya, pero it's all, it's very convenient, it's very automated. Um, and you have to link it to a US bank account, which you can do with Payoneer. So there are ways to do it. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's like, all they need to do is type in their credit card number, ganun, and you can automatically bill them every month. So, much more convenient when you're using Stripe. And, you know, I paired up with PayPal did, um, for the times na parang they, for one-time billings. Um, but yeah, th- th- those, are, those are my own payment methods. And, well, another thing we talked about, um, Samini Jib, Hello, pretty Jason Lula. Ayan, you know. <laughs> Mother's not <laughs> thank you, Jim. Um, another thing that when it comes to pay, about getting paid is very important, right? Um, we talk about that a lot. And when it comes to freelancing, we do work, we get paid. Simple rule. Pero have you experienced, you know, I want to ask you guys and in the audience, have you experienced not getting paid by a client? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, see, Pan, Pan, you never experienced it, Pan? No, because uh, this is my very first client ko, and up until now, they're still my client. So. <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> so let's start with you, Pinky. Tell, tell us about that experience. Well, ano yun, during my ano, early days of uh, freelancing, so um, it's Upwork yun, actually. So, si client kasi, she's, ano, she's also new. Parang she's just starting out sa kanyang marketing business. So parang meron siyang marketing agency and I'm her social media marketer. So lahat ng mga clients niya, ako ang nag-handle ng social media marketing. But um, suddenly, siguro hindi na niya, wala na siyang mahanap na client. Tapos wala na siguro siyang pambayad sa akin. Um, the good thing about Upwork is they do have Upwork protection, payment protection feature. So because I was using their Upwork timer, time tracker, I, I forgot what they, what they call it. But um, if you're using the time tracker, ng tama, like your mouse is, your mouse is uh, moving and you're, all, you're really working, then you will get paid. But if... For example, you're using the time tracker and then wala namang activity yung computer mo, Upwork will actually detect it. Hindi ka mapapaid for those minutes or hours. So, yun, luckily, nabayaran pa rin ako ni Upwork um, kahit na hindi ako nabayaran na client. So, yun, that's the experience I had. But you still got paid for your work, di ba? Yeah, I got paid for, ano, for my work. Thanks to Upwork. <laughs> oh, you're, you're David protection right? David protection policy. and and that's one of the things especially when you're a new freelancer um because I, I know a lot of new freelancers parang they're worried about the 20 percent fee and upwork and then parang, oh, yung laki naman ng fee na yan. but sa totoo lang, when you're starting out um kami mga tenure kami mga oldies so we really recommend upwork because it has some payment protection it's very convenient it's very easy to must move your transactions. And 20% is the cost of doing business there. That, that's just the cost of doing business, of them providing the service to find a client for you. Um, and it's okay. That, that's totally fine. So yun, uh, what the 20%, that's that's totally acceptable um, for all the payment protection and the ease that you get. And I'm like... Yes, Pam. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a question for with that twenty percent fee. Because I never used Upwork, talaga. Because since um, talagang sa hub stuff ako. Because pagkatas ko ma- may employee dito, since full time ako, hindi ko na afford magkumuha pa ng iba pang client. And uh, anta ko po is, for example, like me, we just decided to um, have a monthly payment. What if your monthly payment then then twenty percent off sa monthly payment ko yun ganon. Um, so whatever you like, example, if the client's gonna pay you a fixed rate every month of, um, let's say five hundred dollars, um, what happens din kaste is after your first five hundred dollars of work, um, the twenty percent becomes ten percent. Yeah. Mm. So you won't be charged 
the first the first five hundred dollars will be charged twenty percent. The next will you be charged ten percent. Oh, so I see. you'll receive four hundred dollars the first month, and then like four hundred fifty the second month, and so on, and then ba 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 pa yun sa five percent, five percent thousand dollars. If I recall cor- correctly, the purpose of Upwork doing that, because uh, this was the time na nung bago pa lang ang Upwork, eh, nung, uh, I think. Elans was still there. Elans still existed at that time. Yung, they are trying to reform Upwork from from all this. There, merami sila mga bagong ini implement, and that is one. Yung uh, deduction na yan. Kasi dati, I remember parang 10% na fixed lahat eh. So ang ini encourage ng Upwork during that time is yung prolonged na ano na na work. Right. I, um, I think. Yeah, at that time, hindi pa nila gasi nung pinapansin yung yung per project na ano na na yeah per project na, na contracts. Gusto nila yung mga mahahabang contracts. So they encourage everyone to go past 500 hours, uh, 500 dollars. Because after 500 dollars, it reduces to the 20 percent deduction will reduce to 10, which is nice. You, get, yeah. you reach 5,000 5,000 dollars, and that. Uh, 10,000 will be reduced to 5% only. So the longer you work for a client, the more money that you are that you are actually uh, uh, transferring between Upwork and you, the the lesser the the discount. Maraming nagprotest pero after probably six months it made sense kasi nga yun nga ini encourage nila mga freelancers to work longer rather than per project. Yeah, I'm thinking of uh, joining Upwork na rin kasi. Uh, gusto kong i-encourage si, uh, si client na sa Upwork na lang kami. And also, it's gonna be, uh, you know, good in my profile since I've been working for them for a lot of months na. No, I, I, I do. If if you are interested in uh, creating a, a strong profile in, in Upwork, kung meron ka na talagang ano, mga clients outside, You do want to bring them to Upwork. Upwork is encouraging the feed. Uh, ang akala natin uh, pinagtetadahan ng Upwork. Actually, that that um, kung gusto mong talaga magbuild ng malakas na profile, bring all your client, bring all your clients to Upwork. Do tataas agad ang rating mo. Tataas ang J. Uh, what do you call that? Is that the JSS thing? Tataas yun. Yes. And the best thing, the best thing about Upwork is that. You kind of don't have in pay in in PayPal is escrow. Ma- malakas ang ma- malakas ang escrow ng Upwork compared compared to PayPal. PayPal kasi parang jaded na sila kung magkocomplain ka na ay hindi ako binayaran ni ito parang ewan ko you will go dadaan ka sa mahabang red tape. Unlike in Upwork, um very simple ang ano nila ang processing nila. If you complain and they deem they deem na uh, dapat kang bayaran, mababayaran ka talaga. If not, sorry ka na lang. Ganun lang. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So yeah, it's a smart move if you want to bring them to Upwork. Yeah, kasi yung Bitwage, um, they just emailed me that if, even if you're working through using Upwork and you can also get paid using Bitwage. So that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like you, you can, well, even though They charge a fee. You can build your profile in software for the hours. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Mima comments. There's a question from Christine Kasahe. This is for Phoenix. Bakit po laging kumakain na si Phoenix? Kada chat and chill. Can, wait. Ano ba naman? You were eating something else, di ba? Di ba yung stats mo? Uh, yeah. Um. Because I just. I mean, I woke up like five minutes before before time. So, to make bunda lang ako sa sa neighboring store. I just grab whatever I can grab and left. Hindi ko pa nga binayaran. Sabi ko babalik ako na lang mamaya ka ako. Wala na ako oras para magbayad pa para antayin pa yung pagbar yung pag you know changing the money. So, ladies and gentlemen, I eat all the time. Trademark ko nyan. Masanay na kayo. Uh, well, ano, Elmer Estanyo MoneyGram. Have you guys heard of MoneyGram? Ah, oh, yeah. Heard. Also well known, minimal down rates. Um, and then back when I started online job, 2007, I started the Elmer Western Union Telegram Office, where he's now with with MoneyGram. Um, hello, Michaela. Thank you for joining us. Jim. I want to I want to point out something about these these. Um, many many payment options marami marami kong sa marami at marami pang lalabas diyan na mga pay- payment options sa totoo lang 
but uh, as as you can see yung 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 mindset ninyo about upwork that many newbies obsess about getting getting into upwork wala nang iba ayaw nila ng freelancer.com ayaw nila ayaw nila ng online jobs because upwork is the, is the staple already so it's the same thing with, with payment options marami diyan maraming mga mas maganda mas mababa ang ano ang rates pero how long have they survived marami ring mga bumabagsak na mga ganitong ano eh ganitong mga platforms eh and Again, it's it's mostly the convenience para sa akin. Yes, there, it's it's nice to venture out to some new things who that may offer you better services. But uh, if you want to be comfortable, just go for the tried and true. Yeah, yeah, I, I do agree. Um, well, Phoenix, tell us about your experience that hindi ka binayaran ni client. Oh yeah, ah oh, yeah, uh, I almost forgot. Uh, yeah, during my earlier <laughs> earlier months in Upwork, kasi uh, sabi ko nga wala pang isang dula ng time na yon. Talagang nangangapangapa ako, so I didn't even. All I know is I prepared my my profile in Odesk. Nanjan na ang payment options. Nanjan na nakalusot na ako. So it's about getting that first job. And uh, there was. There, I, I don't know if I, if it was my first one of my first jobs or something pero meron yung time na ano eh na hindi ko pa talaga alam kung saan sa ang niche ako pupunta I don't I don't I don't wala akong kaalam alam basta alam ko lang I see the job I see the job description and I think I can do it kaya mag-apply ako Ang ginawa sa akin um which I really hate, Pina, nag, nag-i-escape kami tapos sasabihin nitong client na, ah, the, very good, maganda itong ginawa mo, but uh, you need a bit more, you need to improve a bit more. Ganun, ganun na lang, pag ganun na lang ng pag you need to improve, you need to improve. So how about you try this job? And then how about you try this job? How about you try this job? Purus ganun na lang, purus wala akong ma-perfect na, ano, na, na task tapos i-introduce na naman ako sa bagong task and then in another task and then another task siguro naka-apat na task before na nasabi kong okay that's it kasi wala pa akong bayad <laughs> that's <laughs> it <laughs> i've been working for this client for four times for free uh, eh syempre um i was new i was gullible so it's uh, nasa naka-charge na sa experience um the meron din yung mga ano eh yung uh Uh, kasi wala pa wala pang payment verified and verified chuchu noon so um may nag may may naglagay ng ano ng job description doon may nagpost ng job i took it um okay okay na kami ako naman itong hindi ko pa nakuha yung ano yung job ginawa ko na yung trabaho <laughs> it, it was that easy for me so ginawa ko na yung trabaho nagpakita na ako ng sample sa kanya like um, if it was uh, five pages of something I just gave him the first page para makita niya na oh, kayang-kaya ko yan um, yeah naawa ako sa kanya kasi ang pasok niya eh, oh, kailangan na kailangan ko na yan bukas pero wala akong pera ngayon ina-approve pa lang yung credit card ko yung, yung mga ganun na excuses ako naman itong of course gullible again Uh, sige. I just gave yeah, I just gave him the 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 the, 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 the project. I just I just submitted it to him, and yeah, I didn't get paid. I think that happened to me like twice before before na ano. I learned my lesson. There are so many things that I've, yeah I've I've been through those downs. I've been through those uh uh yeah I, I have I have my own share of of being stupid, and it's. And I kind of I kind of like it. Though. In hindsight, I kind of like it because I have a story to share. I have a share. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you go to the Abut Camp, hindi nyo tama. <laughs> hindi magyayari ito sa inyo. You, Jason, Jason will, yeah, Jason will train you to be really, really smart. So yeah. Well, um, I, well, I, I, I already, I also make mistakes. Um, my, my favorite story about. A client not paying me. Um, well, I've dealt with clients uh, na, who take forever to pay. There are clients, there are really clients like that. Um, one time I was working with a gov- parang government. Uh, I won't say who and which government, pero <clears throat> government related. Parang they paid me six months late. Pero, um, which I knew they were, they were going to pay me eventually. 
Pero I didn't expect it to take that long. And I expected mga three months. Naging six months late. Um, and then I've taken... Eventually. Eventually, oh. Uh, ten years later. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, ten years. <laughs> yeah, pero six months. Uh, six months is still a long time before it's okay. Yes. Uh, so. But I, 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 I've I taken clients na parang... Kasi sometimes when you talk to a client, you know, you can feel na parang masyado tong sketchy yung client. Hindi naman sketchy, pero he's not... Uh, I'd say baka you can feel na yung business niya is not doing so well. I've taken clients like that naman. Um, and... I've had a client, parang consistently, late siya palagi, mga two months, paying me. And eventually, parang, I kept on following up, kept on following, hindi na siya yung mag-wired. Pero, um, para, we were together for two years. Ano pa, ano lang? Wow. <laughs> You're together with, for two years with the client, tapos bigla siya nawala. Um, I guess, nahiya na siya, parang, his business wasn't doing so well. So, um, ayun, he had to stop and, did just didn't want to say it and, and, that, and that's okay naman parang sa akin ah, it's, it's fine it's okay not not it didn't hurt too much because i knew naman from the beginning the client wasn't parang your expectations i already had the expectation that the client would eventually fall off the edge of the earth or something like that but mm-hmm. hmm. you yeah, after like three months follow up follow up and i could parang send mga demand letter mga pero what na it's too much too much of a hassle so yeah, it's happened. Then. And, and it'll happen if you do the if you deal with direct clients. Eventually, those kind of things will happen. Just like with any. Yeah, that's true. That that's that's the good thing about Upwork. Because eh, yung sabi ng pinky berong payment protection program. Sabi ko na may escrow service. Because dati dati yung yung pang early early project lang ang ang protected by Upwork. Nowadays, meron silang escrow with the one-time payment projects. Yeah, they, so some some clients will be forced to are inclined to pay you in advance. Nandun sa ano? Nandun sa wala pa sa wallet mo kumbaga. Pero nasa era na hinahawakan ni Upwork yung ano, yeah. yung yung pera. That is what they call escrow. Yan ang isang I wish na meron dito sa Pilipinas because when I when I first arrived here in the Philippines na shock ako na bakit bakit ang daming online online businesses na wala man lang escrow service. So I went to I went to Western Union asking about escrow services. I went to the banks asking about escrow service. Wala, wala, wala. I think the only uh ang iproprocess lang ng bank for escrow service is kung when you're talking about uh real estate uh, other than that, anything smaller than that, wala silang, wala silang pakialam sa escrow service. Baka na, it's not worth it for them. Really. I think, yeah, it, ang problema kasi, nobody has done it yet. Eh. So, kung, if somebody does it, and the, the you know, people with power will see that it works, don't, saka na lang nila gagawin. You know, people don't like to experiment with their money. They want to see what works, and that's what they follow. Yeah, and, and it's it's pretty popular in the U.S. in escrow service, um, even mm-hmm. for mga transactions. But I feel like it's risky, risky in market that in the Philippines, to, to do escrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, lalo, lalo na ano, oh, technology-wise, mahina pa rin tayo. Marami oh. tayong mga magagaling na hackers. Uh, mahihina naman lahat ng mga protection developers natin dito sa Pilipinas. So, yeah, it is kind of risky. Yeah, insecurity. Um, well, going over the comments here, si Elmer, Stanyo, MoneyGram, oh, that was not uh, uh, We're, oh, Oscar Casaneta is hiring. Oh, baka you want to reach out. There's a guy hiring here. Uh, Jim Reyes, yeah, he, he's always been using Upwork. Yeah. It's his payment collection service now. Sabi niya, this, this show should be entitled Eat, Chat, and Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Eat and Chill. Because snack time, this is afternoon snack time. But it is not May tempura tayo, may banana cube, and... Ayun, ko pa naman kwento. I did explain, earlier on, I did explain na ano, uh, flip chat and chat is more like just a gathering of people and we, we chat. So if you meet somebody outside, if you go to a meeting, like a meetup, a group group meetup, anong gagawin ninyo? Nakaupo lang kayo ba na, na, na nagkwakwentuhan na lang kayong ganyan? Of course, if you feel 
the need to choose something kasi mahirap din itong salita ng salita na dry ang lips mo, napapanis ang laman mo. You need to chew on something. You need to drink water. You need to drink coffee. And it's the same with uh, physically going out and meeting a bunch of people and talking about freelancing. Siyempre, kailangan nyo rin ng, ng finger foods. That's one reason. And another reason is, like I said before, uh, I just quit smoking. I quit smoking last year. Uh, ang kapalit nito is, uh, yeah, chewing stuff, which is better than smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? How many days can I sober, Phoenix? Sober, sobriety, sa alcohol? Uh, 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 smoking. What, what's the right term? Uh, smoking? So, I officially declared that I quit smoking on May. Kasi nag-start ako ng April, but... Uh, you know, I've been through withdrawals kaya masugit na masugit ako last year ng May <laughs> ng April and yeah May na declare ko na yeah I'm officially out of the uh, nicotine addiction nice uh, by the way I, I quit cold turkey hence mainit ang ulo nung time na yun <laughs> <laughs> kaya nag-relax masyadong nag-relax na si Phoenix in the past few months the notice ni guys Think you're still with us? No. Can you t- switch uh, on my video? Because I can't start it. <laughs> can't? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll make you. Oh, I have to, I have to make both of you again. Uh, yeah. I think. Figure it out. Try it. No. Phoenix, you were saying something? I am. <laughs> no, I, I, I was just. Uh... I was just. I was going to say that, yeah, I did notice that. Pati ako na pansin ko na, but parang akong bumait. Also, am, am I not the grumpy freelancer anymore? <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, uh, fellow uh, ex-smokers, if there are ex-smokers, then just um, get in touch with me. Let's let's talk. Because um, this is one of the, I don't know, there's no support system. These people who quit cigarette smoking, there's no support system, honestly. There's no support um yeah hey francisco the question the next oh i think this is a topic for the future i think you see this comment but i don't know um agency yeah. but opening an agency in um by the way i just released a course the VA bootcamp complete um about starting agents starting agencies um starting your own agency kind of about hiring how to find the right people how to pay them how to manage an agency so you guys can check that out then if you're a VA bootcamp complete student uh Go ahead and uh, take that for us. Um, Mimala, some people who want to find out about working online, uh, you can go to free, oh, well, um, well, you, you free vabootcamp.ph slash free. You can check it out there to get our free course, vabootcamp.ph slash free. Uh, just go ahead and check that out. Um, what else comments do you think? Um, yeah, I would like to point out, uh, no, well, Jason is looking for for juicy comments. Well, I would like to point out that may may na bangkit si ano si Jason kanila na uh, the way he gets paid is medyo matas matas ang service fee or whatnot. Eto, this is another mindset that we need to change. Kasi tayo as much as possible magtitipid tayo kung pwede, <laughs> right? Like um. Kung, kung if PayPal uh, charges you $2 from your transaction, ma- as much as possible, maghanap ka ng free. Sakit ito ng Pilipina. I mean, it's not just Filipinos. Even people, pati nga mga Westerners, ganyan din eh. Pati nga mga may- mayayamang Koreano, ganyan, ganyan din eh. The, the, the good thing about clients is um, many clients focus on the convenience, yung the, the quality of life. Kaya, well, pag minsan, they see things as worth it if it saves them time and effort. Yon din ang isang isipin ninyo. If you happen to work outside of work, you want to talk about getting paid, how you get paid. Wag mo nang isipin yung magtitipid sila. Kasi just like Pinky, uh, one of the reasons why she doesn't know those uh, service fees is because it's the clients who are taking care of those. It's not her. So, ganun. You, you have to be... Uh, ang isipin mo lang is the money that you are receiving and how you receive it. Never mind the extra fees, never mind the, the extra chuchu kasi supposed to be i, ipapakarga mo yan sa clients mo. And many of the clients um, do see it worth it 
kung if it saves them time and it saves them effort. Kapag napansin mo na yung client ay eh, medyo nag-aalangan din doon sa mga extra charges, then perhaps that's when you start res- uh, taking other options. Pero kapag hindi, pag, pag wala sa kanila yun, well, well, let, it, let it be. Kasi sa totoo lang, um, yung mga one dollar mabigat sa bulsa natin, pero sa kanila it's, it's fine. It's like 10 pesos sa kanila. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ikaw, ikaw, Pammy, you have anything to add? Wala naman po masyado kasi since this is my very first client tapos nagtagal naman kami kahit paano ko. So I don't really have much experience with getting paid with a lot of different platforms. And yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm also just, you know, let's sink in on this and lahat. <laughs> Maybe, kasi I'm trying now to jump on a new niche. Ah. Yeah, and this is a lot. Uh, a lot of help for me in the future in case na kung saan saan ako makarating na platform para makaanap ng clients. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You may comment si Jim Ray. Sabi niya, I pay, uh, I consider Upwork as my collection agency. Actually, that's that's a good uh, mindset, I think. Kasi um, you should really have a collection officer. Nandiyan, nandun yan sa blog post natin sa vabootcamp.ph na the best ways to get paid as an online freelancer. One of the tips that I gave there is to have a collection officer. But it doesn't, ha- it doesn't mean na kailangan meron kang mag-hire ka ng collection officer mo. Like big companies, di ba? Kasi tayo, si- minsan na- nakakaya naman talaga mag-follow up ng payment, di ba? Pag Oh, hindi nagbayad, three days na, one month na. Parang you don't wanna um, say it, pero kating-kate ka ng singilin si client. Pero alam mo yun, hindi mo alam kung paano mo sasabihin. But you should have someone or something that will ask for the, the payment. So in this case, you can take advantage of automated systems like yung mga invoicely nagsisend sila ng automated reminders na, hey client, you forgot to pay this um, amount, blah, 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 blah. So you don't have to think about that. Meron, na, meron kang collection officer. So sa kay Jim, ang collection officer niya, si Upwork. So that's great, di ba? If you're working directly with clients, take advantage of the automated systems. Marami dyan, Invoicely, um, FreshBooks, QuickBooks, Wave Apps. So sobrang daming options. Yeah. I love that thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, ang solution ko kasi kung kung ako ano eh um you, ikaw mismo. It, you, you have to change your personality. If you if a friend tells you the same problem, you know that you got answers. Diba? Parang love life din. Pag ikaw itong the in love, hindi mo alam ang ginagawa mo, pero pag yung kaibigan mo ang the in love, ang dami mong dakda. Ang dami mong masasabi. <laughs> It's a, so yeah, try to follow your advice kapag ganun. If you I, I really love your suggestion Pinky kasi it, the, uh, it eliminates the these problems na kailangan mong mag-trade ang sarili mo. However, if you're going to build a business, if you're going to become an agency, just like our future topic says, um kailangan talagang marami kang ibang skills outside freelancing that you have to develop. And one of them is yan yung yung mag-switch ka ng personality mo. Just, uh, for example, may sa isang company merong HR, merong manager, merong tiga, merong collections officer. Those those three positions you need to do them yourself. You need to learn how to do this those yourself. How? By switching your personality. You can apply to a client as a freelancer. But when it comes to negotiation about your pay, magsi-switch ka naman ng personality mo because it's like Oh, um, let let freelancer check out and collections officer check in. Ganon ang um, I don't know if it's if it sounds crazy, pero sa akin that's what I do. So sometimes uh, ma mapapansin niya ng client na oh, I'm he is serious right now. Sige, uh, let me talk to him seriously. Tapos si pag natapos na yung negotiation about the money money money, money thing, magsa switch na naman ako to personality na oh yeah. So how are you doing today? Gagano na ako. <laughs> and the, your clients will will notice din naman eh na parang it, it's it, uh, to me it's a good thing kasi pag nasa business mode ka pag nasa serious mode ka they will be serious. Tapos pag natapos na yung negotiation na yan pwede na silang mag-relax na you can become friends if you want to. So 
kayo kung if if that works for you then um oh, fine and well pero you need to develop these skills as you grow as a freelancer if you intend to become an agency you really need to master these things yeah, that's if, it if napanood niyo yung split ng movie parang multiple personality disorder Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, parang ganun ang ina-encourage parang pini-imagine ko well I was saying it I'm, I'm, it's like what? am I telling people to go crazy? parang <laughs> but yeah that's how it is para sa akin <laughs> parang kay Vini yeah well I know, um, it's, it's a pretty good movie right? anyway I was Academy Academy Awards uh, but that's not our topic for today um, si Lee Peters Daniel nagpapa may papa siya. Um, matagal na siya enrolled pero nagkinayon kasi hindi niya na-maximize. Binabatay pa yung family business at yung environment mo ang gulo. Um, tapos ano, nahirapan siya. So, if, if you can pray for him, magpapapray ito siya. Um, you can pray for him then. Um, let's see here. Um, mas like kung sabi, may konting kainan. Um, I have a friend. It was not easy for him. Uh, sabi ni Bell. Um, now he is healthy and happy. Are you already freelancing towards Phoenix? Uh, sabi ni Elmer, I negotiated with the client a, pay, a payment of $300 US dollars per week back in 2008. Got promoted to $500 US dollars. Um, and then no experience at that time. This was back in 2008. So that was that was pretty big. Na. Wala pang mga freelancing groups. Na yun. Uh, no experience. Then. Um, he, rem- oh, and I guess he recommends reading Rich Dad Poor Dad. Uh, you don't get what you what you deserve. You get what you negotiated. You know, you know, you know, tip, yeah. Because sometimes we, parang ano, what, what are your thoughts on that, Pammy? Ano, uh, you've been you've been quietly. Um, ito, may may come. You don't get. Kumakain na. <laughs> Kumakain din. You get eat and chill na nato. Eat and chill. <laughs> um, sabi niya, like from the from the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiated. Um, para sa akin, tama naman kasi yun, kasi um para sa kasi I I've read this quote before that says um people don't uh get what they want, they get what they deserve. I don't believe that, but I believe that you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiated. It means na parang kung ano talagang i kung ano talagang what do you call this? Kung ano talagang i-work mo sa sarili mo or what kung ano talagang gagawin mo um your your next steps will be will be your ano para bang yun yung magiging result ng kung anong gusto mong mangyari. I keep putting myself on mute kasi ang kulit ng dogs may bisita kasi kami. <laughs> And yun para sa akin ganun siya. I think that's that's a lot parang the word the quote itself is going to is is already explaining itself na sinasabi na kung anong gagawin mo talaga what your next steps are will be what your what will be the result of what what you really what what you really want for example like him na may ganun siyang problema if if i were him siguro wag na lang mo nang pansinin yung mga yung mga nangyayari sa paligid and focus on what you really want so you can achieve it yung mga ganun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Focus on um, what you want, talaga. Ego Pinky, what do you think about that about that quote? Um, I I think it's ano. Uh, um, it makes sense. Because diba, even sa Bible sabi, ask and it will be given to you. So parang um whatever you ask from the universe or from God or from whatever um um power then it will be given to you. Kasi ikaw yung nag-negotiate nun. Ikaw yung nag-work hard for that. So, yeah, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, get, you get what you negotiate. Pam, you want to say something? Yeah, I've read this quote yesterday dun sa, alam ko na-post ko to sa wall ko, eh, but I really love it. I just want to share it with everyone. Um, sabi dun sa quote na nabasa ko dun sa resort, it's on a piece of wood. It says, first, our habits... Uh, first, we do our habits. Then our habits makes us. So what we do and what we actually, what we do in in life, what we do every day, it's what what's going to make us. For example, um, you keep on minding other people's problem. You keep on um, 
you get you keep you keep on putting a lot of problems in your head then magiging problematic ka so if you're going to focus on some things or on that you really want like for example sa akin no nagkaroon nag nag nagjoin ako sa VA bootcamp hindi ko talaga minain lahat ng mga tao sa paligid ko like I, what, what I said in my past in my past interview na ang daming nag-stop sa akin I just made sure na nakatutok ako sa gusto ko para yun yung magawa ko yun yung makuha ko Very well said very well said A Phoenix you want to add anything to that? No, and and dami mga coach jan uh, coach jan na ano reiteration ng working hard versus working smart. And that is one 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 thing, yung you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate for. Yeah, um well, sa mundo kasi natin ngayon mahirap na yung mag, na yung magpapakabait, especially that we are communicating with non-Filipinos. Hindi we need to be a bit more firm. We need to be a bit more strict. And we need to have, uh, we need to stand on our principles para kausap natin ang ibang tao, whether it's Filipino or, or non-Filipino, because that is simply how the world works nowadays. People take advantage of, it, of other people as much as they can. So you need to protect yourself. You need to be careful. And sabi ko nga, marami akong na, na daanan din noon na, na, na mga failures as a freelancer. And that is something that I carry on my on my shoulders but uh, uh I I just don't want to I just don't want that to happen to me again. So kung meron kayong mga past experiences even outside freelancing you have to carry that with you para uh, you have to apply all those life lessons in freelancing because freelancing is a business it's not just as simple as employment. Kaya kung ano man ang hugot ninyo that you that you learned from from your whatever experience like your love life or yeah work life or whatever dalhin yun sa freelancing you need it and you deserve it nice very very well said sabi ni Jing kahit kahit ano uh, um send by Phoenix hugot bayan sa love life mo you call it mo hugot talaga tayo and you can connect it kasi parang relationship din naman so Anyway, um, it's about time that we're wrapping up. I, alam ko may may meeting pa si si may client meeting pa si Pinky after this. So um, let's go ahead and wrap things up here. And I, I just want to ask our. Basa pag nandito si Pinky exactly six or else. Hi <laughs> <laughs> Pinky, sorry, I'm, sorry if we are making fun of you about about um you know time. <laughs> it's nice to do. It's fun to do. I hope you don't take it too personally. <laughs> No, hindi naman na kumatampuhin. <laughs> oh, we, we always make fun of, ano, of Anna, who's ano, not here. <laughs> so yeah, um, sige. So uh, just a couple of announcements, guys. This topic, um, Pinky wrote a blog post about this topic. You should share it here in the comments um, so you can check it out. The best ways to get paid as an online freelancer. I agree, actually, Anna. Um, and we have some, just some announcements <laughs> before we end. Um, oh, well, ano, itong, I'm just going to ask lang para um, before we end, like any final thoughts from the guests before we have an announcement or anything you want to share or promote? I uh, will start with Miss Anisette and then we can drop off if you need to. Okay, so announcement sa akin. Um, mga meetups. May mga meetups tayo sa Flip. March 9, meron tayong um, Flip meetup meet up sa Davao, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. sa Green Coffee, Marfrey Heights, Davao City. Si LJ or Jose, ang organizer niyan. Sa March 9, sa Makati, meron tayong another meetup. Ang organizer naman is si Mark Velosa. March 17, sa mga nasa Hong Kong, meron tayong first international meetup sa Flip. So, LJ, Honey, Bong, and Anna will be there March 17. And March 30, sa Baguio naman kami ng buong Flip. Ako, si Jason, si Anna, si Bong, and si Honey, and maybe... Kung sino pang sasama. Baka si Phoenix parang sasama ata. <laughs> sa Baguio. Ayan. <laughs> sa, and si Karsena Pulido ang organizer nito. Yun. That's from me. All right, Thank you. Thank you. And, and you can drop off if you need to. Um, Pat, Pat, do you have anything to share? 
Uh, just saying hi to my few friends na in-invite ko pa lang dyan uh, sa group na Flip and I'm um, convincing them to join the booth camp kasi ang dami nilang tanong sa akin na hindi ko na masyadong masagot. <laughs> Mag- mag-enroll na lang kayo para hindi kayo nahihirapan sa buhay niyo. <laughs> so, yun. Mag, uh, I'm saying hi to everyone. Ang dami kasi ninyo. Can't name all of you. Okay. Okay. Um, Phoenix. Meron kang i-greet dyan or meron kang i-share or announce? Ay, hindi. Magdanako lang ako ng oras kasi wala na si Pinky. Para... <laughs> <laughs> I-extend ko ang time kasi wala na si Pinky. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, to all of you, uh, isipin niyo, we talk about a lot of things here in in Flip Chat and Chill. And ang hirap na, medyo mahirap na i-pinpoint kasi hindi ko pa naman na-monitor lahat ng mga videos ng, ng FCC. Pero there are so many questions that you may ask and nandito sa mga videos, just like this, getting paid. We mentioned a couple of things that you might um in the future. So next time, when when we do, when you do come to Flip Chat and Chill, if if you cannot uh, write down notes, quote it on the, on the comment section para at least makikita ninyo ang references ninyo. For example, yung mga, yung mga nabanggit na mga platforms na, na pwede natin gamitin, yung mga ganun, you can put it in the comment section down, down below and just write it down para if in case that you need to uh, remember, recall what those things are, you can just check it on the comment section. Itong, para sa akin, itong... I really want to talk about what Jason mentioned dito sa the, using some services that are quite pricey but it's okay. So why is it okay to pay pay something bigger? You mga ganun, if if you do, if we mention something that strikes your your interest, put it on the comment section. We read the comment section. Who knows if we're going to talk about it in the future. Again. Right? That's it. All right, thank you. Um and I just I, I know we have a number of people na new overtime na daw sabi ni Anna. Si Anna naman na enforcing. <laughs> Wala ka naman dito, Anna. Hindi ka pwede mag-enforce. Um, maraming meetups. Yeah, excited si Mahar. Maraming meetups. Um, I just wanna, we have a lot of new viewers. Yeah, I just want you to, if, if you want to learn more about working online and freelancing, check out our um, vabootcamp.ph slash free. Ito yung in free VA course and, and fixing something there. So VA bootcamp.ph slash free. And that'll give you from a free introductory course into how to um, freelance from home and earn from earn dollars from online, online, uh, legit. So that's all. Um, don't forget, guys, to attend the meetups. Uh, we have upcoming meetups. Very, very exciting. So thank you. You did say you gathered a bunch of friends, so why not start from there? You already have a bunch of friends, you can gather around and you can just in, involve everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, well, well, people, so, you know, either Anna or if I'm in the area, we'll be able to attend. So yeah, go ahead. That would be great. Organize there. I'll do my best. Yeah, you can do. You can even do a a casual casual meetup. It doesn't have to be this grand thing. Na meron pa kayong slide slide and whatnot. You can. It's just. It can be as simple as a bunch of you guys friends na to gather around, have a sip of coffee and talk, and that's it. it it's therapeutic. It's supportive, and uh, dumo makikita kung sino mga interested. And then maybe later on, that's when you can uh, introduce some whatever product you want to introduce or. Ano man ang mag, gusto niyo mag-slide or gusto niyo mag-conference mag or whatnot. Yung mga ganun. You can start small if you want to. Sure. Yeah, yeah ikaw din, Phoenix. You can, you can do it. <laughs> you can take care of the guys. Ako, one-on-one one one talaga, one on one talaga ako. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ako, one-on-one. One on. If I'm going to meet somebody, gusto kong ano eh, gusto kong ako lang ang focus niya for the next two hours at sesermunan ko siya. Ganun. <laughs> There might be people who will take you up on that. And, um, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's it. Um, we're a little bit over time. But thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, for staying with us today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this. And if you did, you can also share this with your, you know, share this on your Facebook wall, um, with your family and friends, and comment. Let us know 
um, like, like Phoenix said, if there are things you want to talk about in the future or things that you found were very useful, let us know in the comments. Um, we read the comments, guys. Thank you, guys, and mm -hmm. have a great evening. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.